up, okay? All right, so feet nice and wide. Weights are off to the side so we don't trip on them. And weights are always optional. And today, you can actually pick if you want a heavier weight because it's not moving so much with it. It's more in place, okay? So we're going to take a nice big inhale up and exhale down. We inhale up and exhale down. Two more. Inhaling up and exhaling down. One more. And now we're going to tempo it. And we're going to lift it up and down. Make sure the chest is proud. Mm -hmm. Driving through those heels, legs are wide apart, and we're breathing. And we go for four, and three, and two. Now stop into a T, and tip one arm over, and come to a T. Tip the other arm over, out to a T. My knees are staying bent, my hips are staying still. You got it. And we inhale to exhale. Inhale to exhale. Two more. Over and over. Now take both arms to one side. And we're going to sweep those arms down and up. And seven. This is a quick little warm-up. Six. We've got a lot to do today. Five. And here's four. And three. And two. And one. Now bend the knees and place the hands to your mat. Now I want you to lengthen that leg and then lunge. And then lengthen and lunge. Trying to keep those hands on the floor. And we go for four more. I inhale to exhale. Two more. And one. Bring those arms back to parallel and open up wide. Sweep the arms across to the other side. Find your balance first before you try to lunge. And we go down and up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale to exhale. We go four, three, good, two, and one. Bend the knees, place the hands on the mat. We'll straighten both legs and then we'll lunge forward. And we straighten and now we'll add the breath. We inhale to exhale, good. Four, and three, and two. Now we're gonna stay here for a little bit longer on this side. Take your front foot back. And we're gonna go into this plank hold here, just for a second. You can lower to your knees. I just want the upper body to get warmed up as well. I'm gonna lower my knees to my mat, flatten my feet, hands are a little closer together. Triceps, we're gonna go down for two, and up for two. Make sure the belly button stays with the chest. Make sure the glutes go with you and the elbows are pointing behind you. Inhale down and exhale up. I go for four and three, two more. From here, we're gonna go into a crouching down dog. So I'm gonna curl my toes under and pike my seat back. So this is the down dog part. When I crouch, I bend my knees and I press back. Inhale to exhale. Good. Down and press and down and press. Four. The weight should be away from my hands. So I'm pushing back two more and press and hold this one back. Take the feet a little bit forward and we're going to run. One heel goes up and one heel goes down. Head is heavy, core is pulling in strong. And I go for four. And three, and two, and one, two feet are going to step into the hands. Hands are going to go on your thighs. I'm going to round up for two, and then arch for two. So I'm going to round, and then arch. So my arms don't really straighten, and it's moving from my spine. So I round my back, and I stick out my booty and stick out my chest. And I pull everything in and press everything out. I exhale and I inhale. Exhale and inhale. Two more. You got it. Now stay rounded and pull yourself up the rest of the way. Okay, we're ready to start. I'm gonna start your Tabata timer. I'm so excited for this workout today. I hope you are too. Woohoo! All right. So our first set consists of five exercises. We're going to start with an alternating squat bowler. So it's going to look like this. Squat, 
bowl, squat, bowl. Here we go. Now you don't have to go to our beat, right? You're going to go at your own pace. So forget about the beat. I just have that music on for my timer. I wish you guys could see the timer so you knew how much longer you had to go. We're doing these exercises each for a minute long, 15 second break. Let me explain the next one. We'll alternate using weights and not using weights. You're halfway there. So we're doing okay for our first exercise, right? Right. <laughs> Woo! Feels good. I'm starting to feel that blood flowing through my quads. My glutes, proud chest, keep your core engaged. Make sure you're not taking your hip with you. Keep them straight. Yep. Three, two, one. Grab your light weights. Okay, so we're going to do one leg for this minute time. So my toe is out. I'm going to do a bicep curl leg lift. Don't start it yet because you have a whole minute to do. Okay, all right. Make sure your standing leg is nice and strong. You can go faster, you can go slower. And I would suggest you don't go too fast. Form is better than going too fast and worrying about how many reps you're getting. Don't forget to breathe. Your upper arm is glued to your side. Now follow my arms down. So if we just stay here, we're not lengthening the muscle. Mm -hmm. Lift. 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 Whoop. Make sure you don't start to get tired. On that lift. Yep. Yep. Belly's pulling in and up. You got it. You only have 10 seconds left. That wasn't so bad. You got it. Woo! Five, four, Three, two, one. Shake it out. Can you hear a little? Eh? Could you hear it? Okay. You guys back there might not be able to hear that. Shake it out. Shake it out. I'm even going to cross that leg over and let my weight hang down for a second. All right. We're ready. Here we go. Up. Did you notice I was stretching my standing leg? My standing leg felt like it worked harder than the moving leg because it's stabilizing your body. <sighs> Make sure your arms come all the way down. And same speed out, same speed in. Woo! You're balancing that dinner plate on top of your head, right? So we don't want to drop our heads down. Try not to lean. Woohoo! I love it. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Woo! Nicely done. Three, two, shake it out, shake it out. Next exercise is a squat with a rear attitude. So watch. Weights are here. Squat. Rear attitude, same leg. Okay? Are we ready? Ding, ding, there's a bell. Squat. Rear attitude, same leg. Inhale. Exhale. Down. Lift. Take your time. Now, on this exercise, I'm only doing it for 30 seconds, then switching legs. Are you ready? Switch legs. Squat. Attitude. Squat. Attitude. So my knee is turned out to the side. I'll turn side, we can see. Okay. Let's go. Ten seconds here. Ten. Nine. Three. Two. Shake it out. Okay, next exercise. Plie tricep overhead press. Legs will be wide. I cross my waist in an X. And my arms will go up as I plie. Got it? 
go up. Now, this is not cold for your shoulders. I want you down here and pushing out, okay? Make sure you're not arching your back. Mm -hmm. Down and up. Are we getting warmer yet? Now, again, you can go your own pace. Say you want to go super speed. Okay. Maybe you want to go slower. Maybe you want to add just the legs and not the arms. you got 30 seconds to go. And then guess what? We go back to the first exercise again. Anybody remember what it was? <laughs> I didn't think so. I put, not remember either. <laughs> If I didn't write it down, let's go. 10 seconds. I'm watching that timer. Come on. Hit those triceps. Three, two, one. Weights down. We're going back to our squat, bowler. So we squat, we bowl, we squat, we bowl. Make sense? Two, one, squat, bowl. So I find when people get tired, they start to take off the squat, and they just pause, right? Don't take off the squat on me. Go your own pace. You got it. Squat, cross back, squat, cross back. Woo! Do you want to know when you're halfway there? Sure, why not? Halfway there. So you know you got to keep it moving. Keep those hips directly under your shoulders, please. Proud chest. Yep. Fifteen seconds. Don't cheat on the squat. Don't cheat on the squat. Five, four, three, two, pick up your weights. Make sure you're picking up your weights with your head above your heart. And don't drop your head down. Side lift with a bicep curl. Hang in there. Are you ready? Two, one, one side go. Up. Make sure you lower those arms all the way down. Belly in and up, please. No leaning. All the way down. Focus on that core, holding you there. Then the outer thigh, outer hip. Halfway there. Don't forget to breathe, it helps. Keep those legs, both of them are straight, very straight. 15. Here we go. Last 10 seconds on this side. Last time today, you'll do this exercise right here on this leg. And three, and two, and one. Shake it out, shake it out. Woo! Going to do a little stretch on that standing leg. That's cool. I can even do both. Okay, get ready. Heather toe out, palms turned in. Go. Not too fast, not too slow, just right, baby bear. Can you feel your core contracting to help that balance? Mm -hmm. So I'm barely tapping that toe to that floor. I don't put my whole foot down. Take your time. Think of growing taller. Think of a puppet string on the crown of your head lifting you up. You're more than halfway there on this one. Woohoo! Almost at your 10 second mark. You got this. Here we go. Last 10. Five seconds. Come on. Watch your form. Woo! And release. Okay. I can hold these weights. I'm going to do a squat rear attitude. Remember, it's a squat. Leg goes behind. My knee turns out, okay? I'm going to do 30 seconds this leg, 30 seconds this leg. 
Go. Squat. I'm exhaling on the pushback. I almost feel sometimes like I'm icing, I'm pushing off that moving foot, sliding it out. You got it. Five seconds, we switch legs. And switch. Squat, lift, squat. You only have one more exercise left in this round. And then we switch to a new set of exercises. The weights were for our arms. We did biceps and triceps. My next set of five is a different muscle group. 10 seconds. And release. Shake it out. Plie triceps, whether they're over your head or pressing back, okay? Nice wide stance. Your heels should be in a straight line. I'm making an X with my weights. There we go. Make sure the neck is not craning out. Keep it in line with the rest of your spine. The arms straighten and bend. You got it. Press. 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 Almost halfway there. Pay attention to the shoulders, the neck. You got it. 30 seconds left. Come on, those triceps want to work. Whole body workout today. Knees are tracking over your toes. If I'm cueing something, I'm seeing it. That means someone needs to fix that. Make sure the knees are tracking over your toes. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, next set of exercise group. Switch the sheet. Okay, we're gonna go plie, down, down, up. No weight needed. So a down, down, up means down, down, up, down, down, up, okay? Here we go. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Boom, boom. Now on the up, can you feel those inner thighs, the sit bones, the core, driving through my heels? I am not coming up and locking my knees. I'm keeping them soft. Down, down, lift. Down, down. When we grab our weights, we'll be doing shoulders. Down, down, hold. Down, down, hold. Down, down, hold. You're more than halfway there. Stay with me. Down, 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 hold. You got it. Squeeze those inner thighs, squeeze your glutes. Five seconds. Good, grab those weights. Squat with a shoulder press. My legs are as wide as my frame. I'm gonna come down, bend my elbows, and press up. Okay, then retrace my steps. So again, it's gonna be squat, shoulder press up. Here we go. Squat and press. Squat, press, squat, push, squat, push. You got it. Down and up, down and up. Inhale, exhale. So remember, when you squat, your booty has got to go back. So the weight's not on the front of your knee. Proud chest, keep it lifted. I like to look above eye level. You're more than halfway there. And press, down, press. You got 10 seconds, you're doing great. Go your own pace, please. You don't have to stay with me. All right, plie, front raise, heels lift. Heels down, so watch. Boom, heels down, return. Hold, lift your heels, put them down, 
return. Plie, lift, lower, release. Front of the shoulder, and return. Plie, lift your heels, put them down, stand up. One, two, three, four. And up, boom, boom. Arms go up, open, close those heels. Boom, boom, boom. If you better do one heel, that's fine. You can alternate them. You're more than halfway there. How are those shoulders doing? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Almost a 10 second mark. Here we go. We're at the five second mark. Good. And release. Okay. You don't need your weights. Side lunge, knee up. Hands are clasped. Side lunge, knee up. If you'd rather do a side lunge and tap, that's fine. One leg, lunge, knee up and balance. So I land nice and soft on this foot. Proud chest. This leg is always staying straight. I exhale on the lift. Side. Lift. You got it. Core dries up that leg. Chest stays proud. Use your breath. You're more than halfway there. Uh -huh. Find a place for your hands. They don't have to be here. They can be here. They can be here. Just don't let them dangle. Anywhere you want to go. How are we doing? We okay? Are you thinking this is easy today? I can read your minds. <laughs> and then step together. Shake it out. Okay. Anybody need a modification because of knees? Okay. You can always take a lunge into a squat. And you don't have to lift your knee. All right. Other side. Out. Zip it up. So this leg is my leg is staying straight. I'm landing on a marshmallow pad with those toes. And guess what? We go back to the beginning. Yes. And we do that down, down, up. Good. Lunge. Lift, lunge. Less than 20 seconds, but a little more than 10. And now you're going to be at that 10 second mark. Can you feel the inner thigh working as well? It's not just one muscle group doing this. And release. Whew. Okay, you go back to the top again. We do each round two times. Okay? All right, so we do that plie. Down, down, up. This is a good time to grab your water. Yes. I know the feeling. <laughs> okay. Down, down, pause. Down, down. <sighs> I feel everything pulling into my center as I press through my heels. Don't lock those knees. Down, down, up. Down, down, up. Good. Down, down, up, down, down. Squeeze. Boom, boom. We got 30 seconds left. Woo! Bam! Can you feel your sit bones squeezing together? Your glutes firing, yes? Yes. Less than 20. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Remember, we're not locking. This makes more work for those quads. Don't lean, proud chest, balance that dinner plate. And release, grab your weights. Shake it out. Weights are optional. Squat down, shoulder press. So it'll look like this. Squat, bend, press up, bend, come down. Okay? 
Here we go. Squat, press. Drive through those heels. Remember, we don't have to all stay at the same tempo. <laughs> it seems like we are, but you don't have to. Your lower back right here should not say, ouch. Stick that booty out there. Drive that belly button in and keep your chest proud. So if you had heavier weights, you would certainly go slower, right? All right, we're at that 20 second mark. Drive through those heels. I want to see pressing through those heels. 10 seconds. And release. Okay, front raise, heels lift, heels down, stand up. So watch. I plie, lift my heels, lower them, then release. Okay? You have five seconds. Are we ready? One, two, three, and release. Lower, lift, down, come up. Plie, raise your heels, put them down. So when we're gluing our arms, we want to make sure that we're squeezing those armpit muscles to support the shoulder girdle. Are you firing those muscles back there? And if the front raise is not going good, or should I say well, I get those two words confused when to use them. Anyway, you get my drift. Maybe just use one weight. I'll show you. One weight is this way. So if two is getting too much for that shoulder guard, I'll try this. You can also try no weights. Isn't that nicer? Yeah. And release. Okay, weights off the side, not on your mat. Okay, last time we're doing our side lunge, knee up. So this leg will lunge, drive your knee up, okay? This leg here is gonna stay straight. Here we go. Lunge, knee. And I'm landing nice and soft, not boom. And you're doing a fabulous job because I would hear it if you're coming down too hard on this floor. Make sure you're not sticking one hip out. Stay in your box. Hips and shoulders. Halfway there. Got a little balance going on here. If you want to work balance more, maybe hold the knee up longer. This is my working leg. Can you feel that? Less than 10 seconds. One more. Woo! All right, if you need a little stretch, take one. Move to the other leg. Okay, I'll be ready. This is my straight leg. This is my mover. Other leg, lift your knee. And I even feel a tiny bit of an inner thigh stretch there. Use your breath. It will help you. You never want to hold your breath. And by exhaling, we're making sure we're not holding our breath. Lift. 20 seconds, and then you move on to a whole new set of five exercises. Hold your excitement in. It's like Christmas. It's getting a gift, yes? Less than 10 seconds. Give me one more. Give me one more. Ah, okay. Change your sheet. All right, so this will be for back and chest. So we're we'll doing with our weights, a reverse fly with lunges. Okay. So I'm going to start 
start with my right leg. Okay, lunge, lift, lunge. See how I'm in my little diagonal here? Reverse fly, lunge. So I don't come all the way in with that leg. Just enough. Woo. Yes. Back. Back. Pause. Pull. Pause. Back. Pull. Pause. I should have faced the other direction. I have no idea how many seconds you have left. I'll be listening for that. And. Ah, shake it out. Okay, that was my right leg, my moving leg. Now it's my left. Make sure you're grabbing drinks, okay? You got 15 whole seconds to switch. Woo, weight's not in front. Here we go. Lunge, lift, lunge, lunge, lift, lunge, tap in, lunge, pull. These are hard. So play with it. Maybe you want to stay in place and just do the reverse fly. You don't have to do all those lunges. But reverse fly, I lunge back. Lunge. Back. In halfway. Back. Pull. Tap. In halfway. Come on, you only have 10 seconds left. And release, shake it out. Okay, plie, we're gonna be in a goal post. We're gonna come together, up, together, apart. Okay, the legs, down, up, okay? Across, lift, center, open. Nice. Woo! So yeah, this is focusing on chest, but guess what? You're still also working the front of the shoulder, a little bit of the back. But don't worry, because we'll hit chest with another exercise in this series. Plie, push, come up. Never locking your knees. Ten seconds. That's doable. That is definitely doable. Okay, we're going to do a squat and a close grip row. I'll turn sideways so you can see my arms. Okay. Okay. My booty goes back. My weights go forward. I never lock my knees. Please make sure that core is engaged, especially when I'm not straight up. So in this diagonal, just a little diagonal, this is too much, right? Drive through those heels. If you'd rather take out the legs and just do the arms, you keep those legs still. If you just want the legs, let the arms hang by your sides to make more weight to press up. You gotta feel your core. You don't feel the core, it's not engaged. Knees are tracking over your toes. 10 seconds. And release. Weights down. Now, yes, I am your friend. 
But I tell you what the next exercise is. We're doing push-ups. But they're going to be so modified, and you're going to take breaks when you need them. So because I know I have to go a long way, my knees are going to stay down. I'm going to do these push-ups. Maybe I do one, and then I pause. And I do another. Maybe I do three in a row. And then maybe somewhere in this, I need to stretch back. And that's fine, too. You play with it, okay? But my hands are wide. And you can have those knees on or off the mat. Inhale, exhale. Elbows are wide. Crown of the head is long. So don't give me a ponytail push-up. That's when our head goes down, our ponytail flips on the mat. Yeah, I call that a ponytail push-up. All right, you're more than halfway there. Come on. Remember, just holding the plank is also working that chest, right? Right. Eight seconds. Make this your workout. Stretch back. Release those wrists for a second and come right back up. Okay. Let's go. Reverse fly, lunge. Are we back to the top already? Ah! Reverse fly, right leg. Ah! Lunge, lift, then tap halfway. Lunge, lift that right leg, tap halfway. Lunge back. Now, if you'd rather just hold that lunge still, that's fine. But I pause here. I lunge, lift, tap my toes down, bend my knee. Back. Pull, bend the knee in. You're already at 30 seconds. Squeeze that booty, don't lift it so high that your lower back gets cranky. Are you breathing? 20 seconds. Squeeze those posture muscles back there. 10 seconds, your neck should be long. Okay, shake it out. Do you stretch? Grab one. I keep going to this stretch because it stretches the glute. A little bit of that hip, outer thigh. Okay, left leg is going to be moving. Reverse fly. Come in. Halfway in, lunge back. Okay. Back, press, bring it in. The good news is this is it for this exercise. This is our second time going through. Class is going to start to go by quicker and quicker because you're having more fun. Stay with me. Use your breath. Pick one part of the exercise if you don't want to do both leg and arms. Come on. 10 seconds. Come on. You got this. Work with me. Stay with me. Woo. Shake it out. Plie. Gold post. Slide across. Lift up. Open back up. Okay? What is plie? Across. Up. Squeeze those pecs. Try to have your arms parallel to the floor. Belly pulls in and up. Inner thighs, glutes are working as you press back up. Pick what works for your body. Twenty seconds. Come on. Woo. Shake it out. 
All right, squat, close grip row. Palms are turned in, and we're going right by that rib cage with these rows, okay? Are you ready? Feet as wide as your frame. Pull. Pull. I'm not coming all the way up. Give me a squeeze back there. Okay, so I'm seeing backs rounded. We want to keep the back flat. So if you're rounding and your shoulders may be falling forward and your chest closing, yeah. So I'm coming down from those knees bending, not from my back and my hips flexing. 20 seconds, come on. You know what's next, or maybe you don't. I know it's your favorite exercise of this round. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Weights down, get ready for push ups. Play with it. Maybe you hold a plank. Maybe you do a full push up for a little bit and then modify. Now have the next sheet all ready to go. We're on the mat after this. So we're going to be staying on the mat. Oh, there's your bell. Push ups on your knees, off your knees. Just make sure the belly is engaged, hands are wide. I inhale down, I exhale up. Keep everything together when you lower it. Now, if you need something a little more simpler, you can even start here. But I don't think anybody here needs to do that. We should have those knees back minimum. You're more than halfway through the push-up series. Come on. Nine seconds. You with me? Woo! Stretch back. Release those wrists. Okay, we're down on the mat now. Donkey kicks. So you can choose to put a weight behind the right knee or no weight at all. You can be on forearms. You can be on hands, a little bit of both. Square off the hips. I mean, take it up and down. We're going to do 30 seconds each leg. Belly's pulling in. Uh-huh. So this round is going to be glutes and abs. So, oh yes, you're getting your ab work in today as well. Get ready to switch the legs. Now. You can be on your forearms, remember. Try to keep your pelvis still. Keep the shoulders connected to your back. You know all that. After we're done here, we're going to be doing forearm planks with knee taps and release. If your wrists need a break, give me some wrist circles where you can put them behind you, make cups. Okay, forearm plank. So shoulders over elbows. You can be modified on your knees. You're going to have the legs straight. If your legs are straight, you'll be able to do your alternating knee tap. If your knees are already here, you just hold that plank, okay? Or you're here and you're alternating one knee and the other knee without anything else moving. And when you need a break, release both knees to the floor and do a child's pose. Hide those shoulder blades, so push your back up against that ceiling. Drive that core in and up. This is going to get you prepared for next month's planks we do. Oh, we're working on it already. How are we doing? Woo! Nice. Nice. 
and release. I thought it had to be coming up soon. Stretch back. Okay. We're going to do on our stomachs alternating leg lifts. They're called prone alternating leg lifts. You're going to make a pillow. We're doing... Okay, right leg lifts, and then left leg, we're alternating. So keep the hips on the floor. Don't lift too high, but fire that glute that's lifting. Come on, belly in, belly button swing away from that mat. And the more control you have, the more you get out of this. Don't fall asleep down here. You're more than halfway through this one. You got it. Ten seconds. Relax those shoulders. Put all the work into the glute. I'm pushing the opposite foot and leg down. Stretch back, child's pose. Scoot the belly and round the back. We're gonna do some regular crunches. We're gonna go onto our butts. You can choose weights or no weights. And I'm gonna come up for two and down for two. Now, if you want, you can stay down and just take your head and shoulders off the floor. Does that make sense? So this is more a full crunch coming all the way down and all the way up. But a half crunch, like this, my God, is lifting up and then down. Weights are optional. If you need your hands behind your head, this is an, a modification of what we're doing here. Just lifting like this, okay? I'm going to come up, take it down. I'm going to keep my elbows glued to my sides. Up and down. No momentum. I exhale up. Inhale down. Ten seconds. You got it. And bring it up. Back onto all fours. Donkey kicks. Put a weight behind your right knee. Woo! Are you ready? Up and down. You can be on your forearms, on your hands. Make sure the shoulders are right on top of the wrist. Neck is long, crown of your head like a flashlight out in front of you. Only for 30 seconds, we switch the legs. Squeeze into those armpits. Pull that navel in. Try not to lean onto your standing leg. Switch. You got it. Lift and lower. Woo! Ten seconds. Come on, come on. Forearm planks are next. If you're getting tired, choose wisely where you are. And release. If you need to release those wrists, do some wrist circles or a child's pose. We doing okay today? All right, forearm planks. Now, if your knees are on, you'll just hold that. If your knees are off, we'll alternate a knee and a knee. Nothing else moves. So I shouldn't see your hip dipping or your pelvis dipping. My shoulders are over my elbows. Core is pulling in. Shoulder blades are hidden. Nice, flat, long back. For the last time you're going to do your forearm plank here. Come on, work that core. It wants to be strong. But listen to your body. If your back is saying, ouch, you're going to leave here with that strength. So don't get to that point. Woo! Ten seconds. We can do that. Ten seconds, that's easy for you ladies. And 
and release. Okay, we do those glute lifts all the way onto our stomach. See? I make it easy now. Ah. But we're still working muscles. Make a pillow. Rest your forehead on your top hand. And we lift and lower. Lift. The object here is to work your glutes. If you go too fast and you fling your leg up and you're not making a fist with that butt cheek, you're not going to be working that muscle. Keep your belly button pulled off that mat. The hips should be on that mat. Twenty seconds. Come on. And then we're gonna go to our crunches. Woo! Ten seconds. Relax the neck, trap shoulders. Put it all into the glutes. And stretch back child's pose. You are so close. All right, on your seat. Weights are optional. You can also have your hands behind your head. You don't have to come all the way up. You can just do a crunch, lifting your head and shoulders off that mat. Inhale down. Exhale up. If you're using your weights, my upper arm just stays glued to my rib cage. Don't roll to your side. Fight that urge. I'd rather you stay low. Momentum. Feel that lower back. As soon as you lift your head up, I feel that lower back on that mat. So if you're not able to do a full sit up, it doesn't necessarily mean you're weak in your abdominals. Your back could be very tight and you can't press off that lower back to come up. All the way down, release the weights for a second, hug those knees in, new set. Okay, we're gonna alternate almost like a bicycle. I'm gonna take my eyes to my belly. I'm gonna hold, ah, hold my weight parallel to the floor. And I'll be going one knee in, other knee. Okay, here we go. I inhale, I exhale. I inhale, I exhale. In, out. If this is straining to your neck, you have two choices. Put the weights down. Put the hands behind the head. But if that's not enough, you're going to have to put your head down. And maybe put your hands underneath your seat. Just to give a little bit of support to that lower back. You got it. Are we inhaling a set and exhaling? Inhale. Exhale. 20 seconds. That lower back has got to be on that mat. Seven seconds. And release. Okay, oblique cross chops. I got two weights, you either hold them side by side or make an X. I'm gonna crunch to one side, lower it down, and then crunch to the other. Got it? Are you ready? Here we go. Exhale. Keep both sit bones pressing into the floor. Don't let one go with you as you are reaching to the side. If this is killing your neck, put your hands behind your head to support it. I'm exhaling on the up, inhaling on the down. How are you doing? Come on. Ten seconds. Squeeze the sides. Ten 
and release. Hug those knees in. Woo! And we're gonna start stretches. So just straighten your left leg and pull that right knee to the outside of that shoulder. I'm gonna turn off the timer. How do we do today? You think? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Now take this leg to a tabletop, and the opposite hand is going to go to the outside of that knee. The other arm goes out like a T. I'm going to keep my leg at a 90-degree angle as I go across. I'm going to look away from that leg. Keep the shoulders heavy. Keep the core engaged. Good. And bring it back up and then straighten the right leg and hug the left knee into the outside of that left shoulder and reach that right leg long. Relax the shoulders, relax the neck. Breathe. No strain to the shoulders, the traps. Take that leg to a 90 degree angle, tabletop. The opposite hand goes to the outside of that knee. Other arm goes like a T. Look to the T arm. Push that knee across the body. Only go as far as you can keep the shoulders heavy. And make sure you're looking away from that knee. Bring it back to the center. Hands behind that bent knee leg to rock yourself up. And I want you to take one leg out to a half straddle and the other knee is going to bend. Turn your torso to face the straight leg and slide those hands down as far as you can. Try to have the back of the knee pushing down. You can flex the foot if you'd like. But two hands should be in the same spot. So I can't have one on my ankle and one up here on my knee. They should be together. Mm -hmm. and in a quad stretch, I'm going to come onto my forearm, then bend that knee that was just straight. And I put some resistance against my hand with my foot. I'm going to feel that stretch going along the center of my quad, my upper thigh. Now that leg is going to stay bent, but come onto your mat. The other leg straightens out. We turn to that leg and we slide our hands down. Don't forget to inhale and exhale on your own. Try to have the back of the knee pushing down towards the floor. And then we're going to come onto our forearm. Bend that knee, foot to glute. Feel that quad stretching. I'm gonna push my foot just a little bit more into that hand to create a little bit more of a stretch. I'm gonna swing around to face forward and my heels are gonna be together. I'm gonna pull them towards me. My hands are my ankles and my elbows are my knees. I'm gonna push those knees down, inner thigh stretch. Ah. Take your hands over those toes and then use that as a way to pull your torso a little closer. Yes. Good. And then come into a quadruped position onto your hands and knees. Once you slide your sits bones up the wall behind you and your eyes go up the opposite wall in front of you and then curl that tail under, round your spine. Let's add breath. Inhale as you arch, look straight ahead. And exhale as you round. Curl those toes under. Press out into a plank. And then I want you to pike your seat up and take that right foot forward as best you can. If you need to stand up and step back with that left foot, that's fine. But try to have the knee starting with it over the ankle. And then I lunge it forward. This is a hip flexor stretch. And then we did this in the warm up. Keep your hands where they are. Straighten that leg. So here we are, another hamstring stretch. Breathe. Lunge back forward. Step in with your back foot. Take the other leg back. I start with my knee over my ankle. And then from there, I lunge a little more forward if I'm able. Mm -hmm. And keeping your hands on each side of that foot, straighten the leg. Breathe. Head is heavy. Try to have that front knee straight. Now bend that knee back in. Step in with your back foot. Keep your knees soft. Take your hands to your thighs. Press yourself all the way up. And then take those feet nice and wide. Take one arm across. Pull it towards you. And take that arm behind you. Mm -hmm. Then the other side. That arm comes across. I pull it towards me. Take that same arm behind you. Yep. 
Lower the arms down. Give me a nice big inhale up. Exhale down. One more. And release. You've made it. Nice job. Way to get your sweat on today.